crafters it's me jen evers for, with quality crafts and i'm in my craft room today on a hot and sweaty evening actually and i thought wow wouldn't it be great to make a really cool super easy quick but kind of neat looking card for guys so here's what i came up with i think it's so cool how this looks kind of like wood and i mentioned that at the end of the video so if you want to see how i made this meet me down at the desk I've gathered up what I think are my manly colors, which you could throw in a blue or a green or whatever your guy's favorite color it is. I have Tim Holtz gathered twigs, old paper, rusty hinge, brushed corduroy, and frayed burlap. So it's going to be super quick. We're just going to take the end of this. I have a big piece of paper underneath just case it gets messy and I'm just going to swipe it once or twice, maybe three times depending on how it goes. And it's best, it always looks best if you don't have full coverage. So if it's not covering fully, that's exactly what you want. Okay, and that is it. This panel I cut down at four by five and a quarter so that when you put it on a regular card, there's going to be a little bit of a white base all the way around. Now to offset the color on this card, I'm going to take a one inch wide strip of black and just color up the top, cover up the top of it like this, leaving a white space at the top for a sentiment. And I love this clearly inspired by Paper Inspiration's birthday here, but I don't want all this extra stuff hanging down. I just want that big word. So I'm going to be really careful to ink up that whole thing and then stamp that right on the top here. Okay, just so this doesn't all wiggle around, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I always double check to see which way my card's opening because I, too many times I've done this I completely put it on upside down. So I'm just checking where the border is around the outside there so it's kind of even. And then I'm also going to put down the black piece here. I'm just sitting it next to the card so I know about how far I want to run the tape. And the reason why I do this is because sometimes when I cut this piece that's going to go all the way across, I cut it too short on one side and then white's hanging off. And I want to be sure that this really covers well and down low enough so that sentiment can go because I'm going to trim these off. If you do it this way and you trim them off the side, you won't have a bunch of white hanging out. I just, I don't like that look. It's not as finished. So see how it comes exactly to the edge, then you don't have to worry about it. All right. Now so that I can get this um, inked up correctly, I'm going to use this <clears throat> called removable labeling tape by post-it it's kind of like washi it doesn't stick real well and I'm just gonna go ahead and cover up as best I can without covering up the actual word just those little words that I don't want in there all right so that's all that's left is just the birthday right here. And then I'm going to put my memento ink down and hope I get really heavy coverage so I don't have to do it more than once. Okay, take this off so it doesn't mark up my card and then flip it and stamp it. very cool and that is a super quick guy's birthday card it kind of reminds me of little pieces of wood so if you're looking to make a wood background and you don't have that wood stamp if you take one color and just slide it down in a bunch of um, random patterns you can get a whole background that looks like wood i hope you enjoyed this little short quick technique today and i'll see you guys next video